On June 18th, 2023, the Ocean Gate Titan submersible set off in search of the HMS Titanic. The Titan sub and its passengers ultimately suffered a tragic end, one chillingly similar to the very ship it was searching for. All we know for sure is that during this expedition, something went terribly wrong. So what really happened on board the Titan sub? After multiple international search and rescue efforts, the Titan submersible is said to have been destroyed by an implosion. Waves of theories are now flooding the internet. They explore the question of what really happened. And perhaps more interestingly, why did it happen? One of these theories is that those on board the Titan sub were always destined to die during their journey, thanks to their excessive wealth. As dangerous as a dive to the ocean floor is, some suggest this has more to do with obscene finances than initial reports might suggest. With seemingly invincible wealth, there may come a feeling of genuinely being invincible. The Titan's five passengers were as follows. Hamish Harding, a British billionaire. Shazada Dawood, a businessman with an estimated net worth of $360 million. Sulman Dawood, Shazada's 19-year-old son, a college student and heir to his father's business empire. Stockton Rush, the Ocean Gate CEO who boasted a net worth of $25 million. And finally, Mr. Titanic himself, Paul-Henri Narjolet, a man with extensive knowledge of the 1912 shipwreck, in addition to a net worth of $1.5 billion. The one thing each of these people had in common prior to getting in the water is money. This has prompted some people to make the bold claim that the ocean has simply eaten the rich. A cost of living crisis, class divides, and incredible wealth inequality have caused a startling lack of sympathy for the Titan passengers across the internet. A lack of empathy is clear, but could these five deaths be something akin to karma brought about by greed? Perhaps the ocean has a taste for those with excessively large bank accounts? If the ocean is really eating the rich, it wouldn't be a new addition to the deep blue seas diet. Back in 1912, the HMS Titanic struck an iceberg during its maiden voyage and sank as a result. Over 1,500 people lost their lives to the bottom of the ocean. John Jacob Astor IV was among those people. He was also among the richest people in the world at the time and the richest man in all of America. The iconic couple Isidore and Ida Strauss are further examples of millionaires who went down with the ship. In fact, many of the Titanic's passengers boasted net worths of over a million dollars, especially when the figures are adjusted for inflation. On the 15th of April, 1912, it mattered little whether you set sail in a deluxe cabin or in the crew's quarters. Mother Nature claimed the lives of both the rich and poor on that fateful night. Where the Titan submersible is concerned, though, the passengers were all extremely wealthy. But one of them shared an eerie connection to the very ship that the Titan sub went down in search of. The previously mentioned Isidore and Ida Strauss are two of the HMS Titanic's most famous victims, forever immortalized by Ida's reported last words as she refused to leave her husband behind when offered a place inside a lifeboat. I will not be separated from my husband. As we have lived, so will we die together. Ida Strauss, remarkably, the wife of Titan pilot Stockton Rush, Wendy Rush, is the great-great-granddaughter of Isidore and Ida Strauss. With only a few degrees of separation, the Titan sub is now even more closely connected to the HMS Titanic. Could this fact have played a part in the disaster that claimed five lives in June of 2023? There is certainly something spooky about someone closely related to a descendant of a Titanic passenger, dying in a similar manner in the very same waters as the Titanic once sank. When the Titan submersible went missing just one hour and 45 minutes into its dive on June 18th, a race against time began to not only find and rescue those inside the deep sea exploration vessel, but to figure out what had happened. It is now confirmed that the sub suffered a devastating implosion as it made its descent toward the Titanic's wreckage. For the five passengers, it most certainly sounds like a horrific way to die, but according to experts, this would have been a preferable way to go out as opposed to alternatives such as suffocation. As the search for the Titan sub went on, people around the world were forced to imagine a heartbreaking and agonizingly slow death for the people trapped inside the vessel. Some websites even ran countdown clocks featuring the remaining hours and minutes until the ship's oxygen would run out. If the sub did in fact implode though, this would have happened so fast that not one of the five passengers would have even been aware of it. They simply would have ceased to exist, feeling no pain in the process. The immense pressure in the water was enough to turn the sub and its contents into dust within nanoseconds, quicker than the human brain could even receive and register a message from the body. 
that it was in danger or experiencing pain. Because of this sudden, catastrophic incident, there exists no chance of divers finding any identifiable body parts from the Titan's remains. So how did this horrible accident happen? And who is to blame? Many are pointing fingers at OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush. The man piloting the Titan sub had been interviewed prior to embarking on his final journey and seemed somewhat proud of his decision to ignore certain safety measures. I'd like to be remembered as an innovator. I think it was General MacArthur who said, you're remembered for the rules you break. And I've broken some rules to make this. I think I've broken them with logic and good engineering behind me. Stockton Rush. It is also worth noting that the OceanGate Titan submersible was not certified by any recognized body. With Rush's own death and four others now likely a result of Rush's aforementioned rule breaking, it's clear that major mistakes were made. From the fact that the Titan sub could only be opened from the outside, to the ship's controls consisting of an off-brand video game controller, there was little about the submersible that seemed legit. With all that in mind, the Titan sub-disaster is perhaps best summed by one haunting quote from the OceanGate CEO. At some point, safety is just pure waste. Stockton Rush. The Titan sub-disaster has captured the attention of the world. And while most people were fascinated by the unknown of such an expedition, one man was forced to watch everything unfold with a restrained sense of I told you so. Legendary filmmaker and director of the Academy Award-winning Titanic movie James Cameron is no stranger to the deep. Cameron has made the trip to the Titanic's wreckage nearly three dozen times, though he did so whilst following strict safety regulations. Cameron claimed that prior to the Titan sub setting off, Members of the deep sea exploration community expressed great concern for the safety of those inside the submersible. With the tragic incident now in the past, James Cameron is left to draw parallels between this fatal wreck and that of the Titanic. I'm struck by the similarity of the Titanic disaster itself, where the captain was repeatedly warned about ice ahead of his ship, and yet he steamed at full speed into an ice field on a moonless night, and many people died as a result, James Cameron. The fact that the millionaires inside the Titan sub lost their lives in an accident whilst attempting to explore the remains of another now makes for a deeply unsettling piece of trivia. Five people lost their lives, and it appears to be the result of multiple corners being cut. How the men inside the submersible really felt after losing contact with the surface remains unknown. It is entirely possible that the demise of the Titan came about before any of the passengers were aware that something was wrong. The only thing we know for certain is that this disaster was, sadly, entirely preventable. The story of the Titan submersible is a frightening reminder of just how unforgiving nature can be, and just how important it is to listen to the experts when venturing into uncharted territory. What really went on inside the sub remains a mystery. The sub and its secrets are lost to the ocean, much like the HMS Titanic.